Hey guys, so welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, this is going to be a sketchbook tour for the sketchbook that I've been working on most recently. Um, as you can see, it is really yellow <laughs> and really awesome too. Um, and I'm not totally done with it, but there is plenty of stuff in here for you guys to take a look at and I promise I'm going to go a lot slower with the pages so people can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, to start off, I want to just like tell you guys about the sketchbook um, because I know I still get like questions on older videos on like what kind of sketchbook do you use? But this one's actually kind of unique. So, um, and I saved the packaging for you guys. It is a Lamali, like handmade, made in Nepal sketchbook that I found like deep in the bowels of Jerry's Artorama, like in the clearances section. But it's called a Timbu Journal. Um, said it was handcrafted in Nepal by artisan workshops. Um, it's 5 by 7 96 sheets. It is still just a basic uh, drawing paper. This cover is kind of like a, I don't know if you guys can see, but it feels like handmade paper, right? It's got like that kind of grain and you can like see the kind of crinkles and stuff in it. Um, it's decently small, like my hands are not enormous, but as you can see, like it's very travel sized and it's got this amazingly springy like, look, look at that! So for me, as someone who like always has sketchbooks be like way too fat, this thing is going to hold up and so far it totally has. Um, also it comes in a lot of different colors, like you can get it in yellow, they also have fuchsia, orange, and lime green I think? And there might be one other color that I'm forgetting, but yeah, so far so cute. Uh, and let me show you what's on the inside. BT Dubs, it's got just like your regular drawing paper, like I'm not gonna say there's anything too special about the paper. Um, it's pretty much the exact same quality as you would get with any other, like, basic, basic drawing sketchbook. Uh, but it's nice because the front inside cover is the same kind of, like, handmade woven texture. So when I started off, I had to, like, utilize that immediately. Uh, yeah. So here is where things get cool. <laughs> so this is the front cover. Um, the paper is nice and textured, so I just kind of wanted to go off of that and then continue that theme here. This page, I had no idea what I was freaking doing, but whatever, it kind of came together somewhat. Um, some scarab beetles. I wanted to do something with like scarabs and lockets. Um, and this is my little mass art. Congratulations, you got in postcard along with a sticker from Starbucks. Um, yeah. I got kind of into um, putting pieces of paper in my sketchbook that like open up to reveal something else. So this is a postcard that one of my friends sent me from Texas. Voodoo donut. Um, and that kind of stuff. Same thing here. You know. My plans for YouTube. Oh god. Still not there yet. <laughs> These kind of started off as observational sketches. I was drawing outside and like these were some rocks that I saw and this was like some tree bark, but the thing with me and observational sketches that isn't a homework assignment is that I can't actually like be bothered to spend the time like doing the whole thing. Same thing with here. This started off as a hand study, like I was drawing just my hand in multiple positions and it was overlapping them, but I got so sick of drawing hands. <laughs> Um, and also it kind of like looked stupid, so I added a shit ton of color and now it's an abstraction. Um, this is a letter that my boss gave me for doing a good job. Yay! Um, things. This has a lot of pop-outs. So like this opens up, and this opens up, and this opens up. There's just some very, very old, um, artist trading cards that I did last fall, and more mass art thingies, you know. Technically these are pockets, but they're like an inch. Well, actually that one's kind of deep. I don't have anything in them yet. Yeah. I don't actually remember what happened here. I just tore it out and now I have a flap. So, yeah. The main mediums that I've been using in this sketchbook have been uh, colored pencil, soft pastel, and markers, um, either Copic or Prismacolor, depending. Um, I just find that, like, it's the easiest way to color in a drawing sketchbook that's not going to, like, completely fuck up the paper. Also, I've said this in multiple occasions where if you have, like, 
a sketchbook page that you don't want people to see, you can always like put a cover on top of it. This is one of them. You can make the cover look kind of cool. And in this case, um, it's pretty private, so I'm not going to lift the flap for you guys. <laughs> um, planning shit, boring. Not every page has to look good, guys. This is a project for uh, band-aids that I am working on pretty soon. Um, I was hoping to make a video out of it, but that didn't end up happening because the footage was really shitty. Um, I went out to uh, Stanford, Connecticut with a friend of mine, and we went to this place called Franklin Street Works Contemporary Art Space. Nice! Highly recommend! They've got cool art galleries, like very edgy, very contemporary. And it's connected to this really nice little cafe, and I highly recommend their, uh, well, their coffee's really good, but also they've got like these uh, espresso caramels, homemade, delicious, freaking awesome. Uh, here are all those cats. And doodle. Oh, this page. I did really great. I wanted to do anatomy practice, specifically on butts. Um, but I forgot that there were, that this page was here, so then it bled through from the other page. Yeah. Um, I was in the woods a few weeks ago, and I did some observational drawings of kind of like the weird shapes that I saw there. Uh, I'm trying to get the colors. There's always good shit in nature, you know? Like, this tree is real, by the way. It's got this enormous, like, hole that like, you can actually, like, see through. It's amazing. Some collages, because why not? Like, color theory. This page isn't finished. This page is, though. <laughs> and this page is finished, but this isn't. So, like, something that I do with my sketchbooks is I'll, like, do one half of a page, and then I'll move on, and I'll do another half, and then I'll move on. Um... And then after like maybe three pages or so, I'll come back and do the other sides of the pages. That way like my mind is fresh and I can think of what I want to do that's going to look good. So like I already know for this one, I'm going to do some kind of like flower design. I just haven't figured out what yet. Um, but I did this drawing like ages ago. So yeah. And that's something I haven't finished yet. And yeah, I still have a lot more to go. Um, but yeah, this is what I've got so far. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with the rest of my sketchbook. I've got some cool ideas. And you guys will be seeing future videos. I promise. Um, if this video was too fast for you guys, like if I was flipping a little bit too fast, I'm sorry. Let me know. Um, and for your viewing pleasure, you can always make the video like on a slightly slower speed. And then just kind of mute me so I don't sound like super warped or whatever. But yeah, this is where I am right now. Once again, this is a Timbu journal. I got it at Jerry's Artorama. I, I have no idea where else it's sold. Okay, don't ask me questions <laughs> about where you could find this, but it was reasonably cheap. I think it was like five or six bucks. Um, and it is kick ass. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys again on my next video. If you like this video, there's the like button. Um, and if you really, really like me, <laughs> You can subscribe to my channel too. Catch me on Tumblr and Instagram. It's Piano Bover for both one of them. I will put them in the description as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.